Toothpaste wasn't created yesterday. Thousands of years ago, Egyptians made theirs with pulverized puma stone and wine vinegar. Happily, they've improved the formula. Today, there are still abrasives, but now it's water with added sweeteners, detergents, bicarbonate of soda for whitening, and delicious flavors. For connecting wood to wood, there's a great variety of fasteners. You can use common nails, spiral, finishing, even staples. See? We've got it all nailed down for you. There are hundreds of varieties of nails being made, and they're made of very durable carbon steel, all starting from steel wire. Rolled up on a drum, this steel wire weighs in at 2,045 kilos. The wire's diameter is six millimeters, and that's too large, so they'll have to reduce its size. Using many drums, they're going to pull the wire successively to gradually thin it. Then they'll roll it up again. When full, this roll will contain 23,500 meters of wire weighing 1,136 kilos. The wire now has a diameter of 2.84 millimeters, so it will have to be reduced by half. Now they're going to cut the wire into little rods. The cut rods are gathered up with this electromagnet and dumped into a machine that will process them. Here the rods are made into nails. The metal rods move along slowly and a blade forms the nail points. These blades are changed every 600 hours. This machine forms nail heads by flattening them with great pressure on the rod ends. Nail heads are formed at a rate of 1,400 per minute. The manufacturing of nails is now finished. They fall into a chute, then into this collecting bin. Nails are sold by the pound or embedded in plastic rolls, as we see here. This machine inserts 167 nails into each roll. The plastic strip has teeth and the nails hook into these. They handle the rolls with gloves since the coating applied to the nails is not yet dry. This machine produces five rolls a minute for a total of 835 nails. Making spiral nails requires an extra processing step. This machine puts the spiral into the nails with these cylinders and welds them. It makes 1,200 nails a minute. Then the nails are put together into strips for use in pneumatic nailing guns. Each strip contains 30 spiral nails. To help them stay in place, the nails are coated with a resin that dries in four minutes. This is the nailing device that uses nails on a strip. It sets the nails in one strike with the user's trigger finger. Now, we move on to the fabrication of staples. The staple press binds 80 iron wires which have been well lined up. The 80 small wires are placed side by side. The wires are glued together. Then the wires come out well adhered to one another. The staple strips are fed into this machine. It cuts the staples to the desired length and folds them in one stroke of this press, which applies 40 tons of pressure. 
Staples are formed on this gauge, and the staple strips are then ready for packaging. Every day, they produce a total of some 25 million nails here, which require the processing of 10,000 tons of metal annually. Toothpaste wasn't created yesterday. Thousands of years ago, Egyptians made theirs with pulverized pumice stone and wine vinegar. Happily, they've improved the formula. Today, there are still abrasives, but now it's water with added sweeteners, detergents, bicarbonate of soda for whitening, and delicious flavors.